What is going on, Jerome's? Another day, another beautiful mock draft. We have Anthony Trieshes of Pro Football Focus did up a two-round mock draft where the Vikings at 12 and 46 checked two boxes of positions of need because I think right now positions need for the Vikings, cornerback, O-line, check, check. And let's dive on in. Also, uh, Trash, uh, he's really in on the Desmond Ritter steam. I think there's a chance that Desmond, our guy, could go pretty, pretty, pretty high, including in the top 10. Uh, one, Hutchinson, yes. Two, Thibodeau to the Lions. Uh, Trevon Walker, maybe. Sauce, maybe. Hamilton, maybe. Three, uh, Stingley Jr., where... This is a, a little bit surprising because I, I do think that Sauce Gardner is a 1A uh, and to Derek Stingley's 1B. But if you're betting on potential, if you're betting that he can regain 2019 form, yes, I think that he could be the best cornerback in this class. Texans get him. Uh, four Jets taking Kyle Hamilton uh, from the fighting Irish, just like the fighting Vikings. That's right. Uh, Hamilton coming in on our guy Rob Salah's uh, defense. Uh, so the Jets, 4 and 10, uh, take a Greek freak. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two nice pieces on that defense. Five, Giants taking Sauce Gardner. Yeah, where they definitely could use some O-line help, except cornerback, uh, they need have some needs as well. I think Sauce could be that guy. Uh, Panthers, a little bit surprising that Panthers didn't go quarterback in this spot, but they take Charles Cross, a physical freak offensive lineman. Now, it's interesting in that he's the first offensive lineman off the board. He's he's ahead of Evan Neal. He's ahead of Sticky Iquanu. Uh So, you know, we'll see. Seven, ooh, this is the spiciest meatball. Is Gettleman making these picks again? Nakobe Dean, uh, undersized linebacker, but he gets it done. I do love Nakobe Dean, but at seven, I don't know, man. I don't know, but uh, yeah, Nakobe Dean go, going to the Giants. Eight, Falcons, Desmond Ritter. This is the highest that I've seen Desmond go. Quarterback one off the board, ahead of Malik, ahead of Kenny Pickett, uh, and Desmond Ritter now is going to be the heir apparent uh, to... Well, Marcus Mariota, uh, I guess, in Atlanta in Arthur Smith's system. Number nine, Seahawks take Evan Neal uh, coming out of the, uh, coming out of Alabama. Now they need to rebuild that offensive line. Finally, after after Russ is gone, ironically, so Evan Neal makes sense here. Ten, Jets Greek freak like we talked about. Eleven, uh, Garrett Wilson is there. So now, now this is amazing. Now I love I, I love me some Trent McDuffie, but I mean Trent McDuffie when Ike Kwanu was on the board. No, 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 no. And I understand Ike Kwanu is going to be that, that freak uh, in, in the NFL. And the Vikings do have two really good tackles right now in Brian O'Neill as well as Christian Derrissaw. Play Ikuanu at guard. I, I do not care at all. B, P, A, and then figure it out. McDuffie, stud. You, you can get a nice cornerback in the second round, though. And But the fact that Ikuanu fell so far and the Vikings didn't take him... Nah, 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 nah. Texans. Uh, again, Jermaine Johnson second. So, JJ2, uh, as well as Derek Stingley, revamping Lovey Smith's defense for Houston. Uh, uh, 14. The Ravens. How do the Ravens do it? Just every single draft, whether they trade down, whatever, they just get amazing talent falling to them. So, they get Ike Iguanu, putting him opposite of Ronnie Stanley. That's gross. Gross. Eagles first two picks. Uh, so they take Drake London because uh, Jalen Hurst needs a tall receiver. And also they get Devin Lloyd, who's going to be their captain on defense. Love that. Jeremiah Trotter, 2.0. Uh, 16. Uh, the Saints take Chris Olave as well as Bernard Raymond. Uh, so they let Taron Armstead go. And I'm surprised that since Equanu fell so far that they didn't make a move for him. Oh, well. All right, so Jamison Williams goes to the Chargers. Yeah, they can sit on him for a year, and then he comes in with Mike Williams and Keenan Allen and our guy Josh Palmer. That's gross. That is gross, man. Uh, so 20, uh, Steelers, somehow, some way, they get Malik Willis just falling into the lap. Yeesh. 21, Andrew Booth Jr. going to the Patriots. Length on the outside could become Stephon Gilmore 2.0. Christian Watson going to the Greasy Grimey Green Bay Packers. Ahead of Traylon Burks. Ahead of some other great wide receivers. But Watson, you're betting on that upside. So now we have to hate him. It is what it is. Uh, 23, Arizona getting Kyra Lam. Uh, the Xavier Rhodes clone uh, coming on in to Arizona. They never really replaced uh, they never really replaced Patrick Peterson, but him, Byron Murphy, nice duo. Uh, Devontae Wyatt going to the Cowboys. Uh, so now they add some defensive line depth with uh, Anwuzuriki, et cetera. Um, not not Anwuzuriki, sorry. Um, uh, Oso Digizua, the pride of UCLA. Editing. Love it. Uh, 25, you got the Bills taking Jan Dotson, where... 
I mean, John is going to be fantastic with Josh Allen. I mean, Diggs got paid. Gabe Davis is a stud. John Dotson uh, comes in as wide receiver three, baby. Uh, 26, Tennessee Titans uh, picking up Sky Moore. Even though they picked up uh, Robert Woods, I mean, Kenny Pickett is just there. And Ryan Tannekill is not the answer, man. 27 bucks picking up Jordan Davis. So, wow. So, Jordan Davis next to Vita Via. Wow. Uh, Packers, unfortunate. Boy Moffat going to the Packers. So, him and Rashawn Gary going to be on the edges long term. Great. 26. Excuse me, 29. Chiefs back to back. They get uh, Kyler Gordon as well as Travon Walker. Uh, so, I mean, there's scuttlebutt that Walker could be the number one overall pick, and now he falls to 30. I don't know. Uh, Kyler Gordon uh, slots in nicely uh, with Kansas City. Linderbaum going to the Bengals, 32. Jalen Petrie sneaks in the first round. Uh, Travis Jones going to the Jacksonville. Uh, Leo Chanel going to the Badgers. Stupid Badger. Uh, uh, not going to the Badgers, going to the Lions. Stupid Badger going to the Stupid Lions. Traylon Burks, Zion Johnson, Kenny Green, our guy Chad Muma, George Pickens, who may be one of the more underrated receivers in this draft. He goes to Chicago. That's going to be a problem. Uh, let's see, 40, Sam, Sling and Sam Howell. Yeah, and so do we miss Pickett? Or, wait, does Kenny Pickett not go in the first two rounds? We just searched his name and it didn't come up. Wow, that's a little bit of a hot take. That That's a spicy meatball, babe. So Kenny Pickett falls in the third round. I would take Kenny Pickett in the third round. I would maneuver up from 77 and go get it done. Where, where are we at? Uh, going to 46. So the Vikings already got Trent McDuffie. And, and now they pick up the offensive lineman Jeremy Saylor, uh, Sellier from Georgia. Where Sellier is fine. I love the versatility. Uh, he... A little bit of a plotter, like he, he isn't really going to fit what the Vikings want to do uh, sch- uh, schematic wise, but he has a great punch. He's got a good anchor, so I, I do understand it. Although I, I wouldn't put Salier in my top ten interior offensive lineman. Uh, like here, I, it seems really early drafting a guy like Donald Parham, but I would have gone in that direction as opposed to Salier. Um, so I don't know. Maybe they could double dipped on McCreary. Well, hell, they, they could have taken Iquanu at twelve. And then McCreary at 46. Or Lewis Seen. And life would have been good. Life would have been amazing. Well, Matt Corral at 46. I don't care. Kirby Joseph, 46. Don't care. Hi, yeah. I Drake, Drake Jackson falls. Darian Kennard. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Or Emerson. You could add Emerson at 46. But it, it's always a, it's not always about who you pick. It's always about who you didn't pick. Uh, but if the Vikings did check that box, so they got McDuffie in the first round, uh, Jeremy Sayer in the second round, I, I I mean, I guess I wouldn't complain. Like, you know, they they deem them to be the talent that they wanted and needed at that time, and they do check two boxes in terms of uh, positional needs, uh, even though we are Team BPA, and Team BPA at 12 would have been Ike Kwanu, which, I don't know, it, it, would, it would shock me. Shock me, floor me, uh, if he somehow fell out of the top ten. But, anyways, uh, well, uh, also Kenny Pickett was not a round one or round two selection. But uh, your thoughts and our thoughts on Anthony Tresh's thoughts. Pro Football Focus's latest two round mock draft. Vikings check two boxes. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most important, the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.